big difference we're feeling in that air today. It's almost chilly out, Gary. Yeah, it's pretty cool outside and the wind is still blowing as well. But for the most part, the rain has stopped. Now, there could be a couple of light little showers or sprinkles, especially during the late evening hours. But the strongest of the storms have moved out of the metro. It's not completely gone from our area, though up towards Chillicothe, Trenton, Bethany, and even as far northwest as Maryville, there's still some rain that's falling. But again, off to the west on the Kansas side, it's almost completely finished up. Strongest and heaviest of the weather now is pushed well to the north of Marshall. It looks like Chillicothe may be in the clear too as far as severe weather is concerned. That's not to say you may not hear another rumble of thunder, but this leading edge, that's where the strongest storms have been throughout most of the afternoon, and it's going to continue pushing off to the northeast. So now we're talking towns like Kirksville, uh, east of uh, Brookfield. So again, long ways out. Hey, check this out. This was just a little bit after 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That was the possible tornado right there as I was tracking that one during the afternoon hours. This is Versailles, and again, Sedalia is here, so it was just outside of our viewing area by 3 o'clock. But very, very, for a very short moment, that uh, tornado was, again, uh, just on the extreme southeast edges of our viewing area. 59 degrees, Sedalia 63 in Marshall. These are the warmest temperatures, and again, once these 60s turn into 50s like this, then you're pretty much free of any severe weather threat. 56 now KC and the Southern Metro, it's cool. Olathe, 53. At 7 o'clock, we're in the mid-50s, down into the low 50s at 9. Overcast skies and breezy conditions and maybe a little bit of late evening rain at 50 degrees at that point. But I think towards morning, we may see a slightly better opportunity for a little bit of light rain to fall and then throughout the day as well. Scattered showers 47 out the door and again a little bit of a breeze but not what I'd call windy conditions. So you might want to pick an indoor sport tomorrow. 48 degrees at 9, 51 at noon and 54 degrees at about 4 o'clock. It's going to be a cool day. It's going to feel kind of uh, raw outside for the most part and wet weather too. So have your rain gear ready to go if you need to get outside on Thursday. Here's an hour by hour look at that along with rain percentages that really kind of get us between about noon and about 4 in the afternoon. But there's still reasonable chances even in the morning hours early on. This is live power Doppler radar once again showing you all of that activity. Wanted to also point out the lightning strikes here. Numerous lightning strikes. It's been a very noisy system, this one that's passing through. Forecast track, that rain blows out, but look what wraps in. This is more of a steady rain. Probably not going to hear a rumble of thunder out of this on Thursday. And remember, it is cold during the day as well. Then that rain kind of picks up in intensity a bit during the afternoon, so that's the reason for that 70% rain chance then. And after that, Things seem to quiet down a little bit, especially for the bulk of the day on Friday. So let's fast forward to Friday night. A little pop in the rain at about midnight to 2 in the morning. That by Saturday, that should clear out, and it leads to sunshine, at least partially, through the weekend. Sunday looks to be the sunniest day. Then up oh, next week, another chance for showers. And when you see chances for wintry precipitation in western Kansas, you know that even this rain here is going to be a very cold rain. Most of that is late Tuesday into early Wednesday morning. So let's add up all the rainfall totals. Keep in mind, we had a pretty good soaker all, already today. So add another three quarters of an inch to that between now and the end of the day Saturday. And yeah, the ground's going to be pretty spongy. So we went from really bone dry yards to now pretty soggy lawns. 54 degrees tomorrow, 71 Friday. Look at the up and down nature of this. It's like kind of going through the Colorado foothills. 54 Thursday, 71 Friday, down to 63 Saturday, up to 73 Sunday. Then cool weather kind of settles in as the Royals return Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. High temperatures barely hit 60. Low temperatures close to 40 each one of those days. And it looks like that cool weather that's coming next week, Carolyn, that could last for at least eight to 10 days. So this Ooh. is kind of a long stretch of pretty cool weather. Boy, yeah, came out of nowhere after we kind of yeah. got a hint of spring there for a minute. <laughs> Thanks, right. Gary. Okay. New important